Welcome to WP EasyCart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to create categories and organize your products into groups. Uh, one of the main things we get asked here at EasyCart is how do you build these categories and group products together so that you might be able to have not just a store page, but maybe a bunch of submenus or sub submenus. Uh, for example, in this um, situation, I've got my demo data installed, and we might want to have a category for shirts. Uh, we might want to have a category for, let's say, coats, um, and you want to be able to list those and have just those products show up. So let's walk through how to do that. Uh, you can see here I have a basic installation with just the demo data and a few products. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over here on the left menu and click on categories. And categories you can see you can have as many as you want, they're unlimited, and you can have unlimited products inside of a category. And so you can see I have a couple here like sales or specials. Um, and what's nice about these is you can actually create promotions and say I want to apply it just to this category. Or I want to create a coupon and apply it just to one of these categories. So you can really do a lot with categories besides just display them. So let's take a look. We're going to go ahead and create a new one here. So I'm going to click Add New. And maybe we want to just go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call this um, Women's Coats. And you can make these featured categories. You can give them parent categories as well as descriptions and images. Uh, these settings are more for if you have short code and you want to have uh, a page that displays pictures of the categories and then customers click on those pictures and go into them. Um, that's one way of doing it. We have a vast array of short code that you can really get creative. Uh, but we just want to create a basic one so we can put it to our menu. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just create women's coats and hit save. And this just creates the category and you can see it has a category ID and there's zero products in it and so we click this little button here and this now lets us edit the products that are going to exist inside of that so what we're gonna do is that these are all the products that are inside and you can see we don't have any so what we're gonna do is come up here to the right and we're click add new and it gives us a list of all of our products and so I'm going to add my coats to this category, maybe those three items. And I'm just going to select Add to Category and Apply. And now you can see inside of my women's category, I have three coats. And if we go back here to our main category, I've got now Category 8, and it has three products inside of it. Now what you can do is if you flip over here to your store and I refresh my page, you'll notice it doesn't appear anywhere. So what you do is you simply add it to your menu. So I'm going to come over here on my left. I'm going to go to Appearances and Menus. And this is just a standard WordPress menu. Uh, you can see we have our main menu here. Um, it's specified as our main menu and on the left hand side we can add new pages but if you scroll down here you'll notice we have store items and this neat little feature lets you add individual products it lets you add categories it lets you add menus and anything else that is linkable with its own separate page so I'm gonna click on women's coats you can see that's the category we just created and I'm just going to add it to my menu and now I can drag it around I can put it wherever I want I'm going to go ahead and indent it underneath my store and I'll save my menu and this gives you really good flexibility um, with uh, your menu by using these store items if you don't see the store items appear you might want to come up here to your screen options and make sure you have the store items selected. You'll notice it appears and disappears as a selection. Okay, so I saved my menu. 
we can jump back over and refresh our store and now you can see I have a sub menu for women's coats and if we select it I now see just those three items so it's highly customizable it gives you a really quick way uh, create a category go to your menu add it to your menu now let's say you want to get more uh, more advanced uh, we have a lot of ways to do this let's jump over to pages and I'm gonna create a new page and I want to get really creative with my fall coats so I'm gonna say this is my custom women's coats page and what you can do here is you can actually use our short code to add the category. If you've never seen our shortcode editor, it's on the main WordPress editor. It looks like a little shopping cart. And this lets you insert all kinds of unique uh, shortcode that EasyCart offers. Categories, category displays, store tables. Um, you really have to kind of experiment with these to see which ones you like. Uh, we also have some good documentation that discusses these like member content um, you can have add cart buttons on specific pages but what we're looking for here is a product category and it says what category do you want to add to the page and you can see we see all of our different categories I just want to add women's coats okay and we get short code and what this lets us do is publish this page and we can view it and you can see it looks just like our other page okay but what this lets us do is really customize the page if I wanted to get creative I could go ahead and add you know custom text I could drop in custom media or I could use this short code and most themes have like an advanced editor uh, I could click on that and create custom layouts and have just this product category of items show so this is more than just adding it to the menu um, this is actually customizing the page around it uh, with unique content and of course this is just a page so I could always jump back over I'm gonna go ahead and update this And if we refresh our page, you'll see we have custom text here. So I could surround this short code with unique content and design. Um, again, this is just a page, so I could always go back to WordPress appearance menus. And you can see I have this custom page I could add to. So I could put this on my menu and drag it around. And so you have an easy way with the menu system and with creating products to build a catalog that's organized with different custom menus and how you want those to appear so that's how our basic categories work um, we also have several other methods to get to them for example if I go back to my products and maybe you've already created all of your categories you just are adding products what you can do is edit your product and you'll notice you can scroll down to category locations and you can put them in specific categories maybe I want this product to also be in the specials and so I could go ahead and do that and of course as you add uh, products to categories that then lets you market them uh, for example you can come over here to promotions and you can add new promotions and you can specifically choose um, which category you want so I'm gonna say okay everything in the specials gets this promotion and so it, it makes sense to go ahead and organize them and maybe you don't need to display the category you just need to use the category for other purposes so that is the category system uh, very flexible uh, and it's definitely worth checking out thanks